Let's see if we can build something now. I'm going to highlight this whole thing. Just delete that. And let's see if we can put an application to the circles feature. So under circle diameter, I'm going to select right here at 0, 0. And then let's come out. Um, what? Oh, let's zoom in a little closer here. Let's make that circle three inches. So I type in three and hit enter. This is a three inch diameter. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to do a circle radius. Now, if I put my cursor right here on that, I'm going to hit the uh, snap to grid off and then grab towards the edge of the circle. Do you see how? It says center now. What it's doing is it's creating a concentric circle to the existing circle, meaning they'll share the same axis. So I'll select on that and I will type in three for a radius. So a three inch diameter on the inside, three inch radius on the outside. Let's try another circle. Let's go with another diameter circle. And I'm just going to come out here to this location. Let's go. Oh, I got to turn this grid back on. Let's go out to about, let's say, 7. And then I'll do a mm, inch and a half diameter. And we'll go back to radius. And then I'll put my cursor on that circle. If it says center, I can just click on it. It finds the same center point, And I'll do a one and a half inch radius. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Um, I want you to do it my way and then you can try the uh, copy and mirror commands to see if you can't copy this to the opposite side. I'm going to just go ahead and continue on because this is a demo about circles. So I'll do another diameter and I'll come over here minus 7 and go an inch and a half and then create another circle using uh, radius. Try and get that right on that edge to say center and click on it and type in one and a half inch radius. And now what I'm going to do is a circle, tan tan radius. And I'm going to grab the top of this curve and the top of this curve. Kind of put my cursor in the origin. Let's see. Let's try, I don't know, five inches. I'm going to repeat that step. So again, that was tan tan radius. Come over here and come over here and type in five or just hit enter because it remembers the last one I used. So now I got, oops. Another circle here to here and then do five. Uh, what happened? Tan tan radius here and here and just hit enter again I'm doing tan tan radius now that's already there so I don't have to keep dragging down the list I could just click on this one here instead I'll select this one here and this one here and then just hit enter we got a crazy shape going on I'm gonna try and do a trim See what happens when I trim this and trim this. Trim this out here. And look at the shape I've got. I'm going to trim this. Uh, sorry. Ah. Back to trim. And trim this out. Whoops, overdid it there. Trim this one out. Uh, you know what? I think I do want to trim this out. And trim this out here. Now I got a 2D profile, and I could create a gasket or something with this piece. All right, that was my demo for the circle commands. Oh, damn it.